Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm going to share with you zinc rich food you should take now and forever. Zinc is so connected to your immune system, especially your respiratory organs, and zinc stops viral replication of coronavirus. There are a number of videos explaining this function by doctors on YouTube, so I'll put the link in the description box below. All I can do is show how to cook delicious zinc rich food in a Japanese way. The Japanese government lifted the emergency state yesterday, but they still ask us to quarantine as much as we can. Now we are getting back to normal, but it is new normal. We can't live like before the pandemic. If we want to keep us healthy, we should pay more attention to what we eat. We should be on a balanced diet and nutritious diet from now and forever. I have been introduced you to the Japanese dishes to keep your immune system high, and this is the most crucial nutrition it's zinc. When I take a look at my diet, we ate zinc rich food on a daily basis. I don't know why the mortality rate of COVID 19 significantly lower in Japan. I guess it's about our culture not to shake hands or hug or taking off shoes in a house or this is the vaccination, but mostly it's about diet. The study should be done in the future, but for now, let me show you 10 most eaten zinc rich food in Japan. That you can adopt to your diet. Let's get started. Number one, oysters. The oyster is the king of the zinc. We love to eat deep fried with tartar sauce rather than eat raw. You can find fresh oysters from November to April, but the frozen pre made khaki fry is available all year around. I will show you. Easy oyster dish later in the video. Number two, pork liver and chicken liver. We eat pork liver as stir fried, seasoned with soy sauce or oyster sauce. Sometimes barbecue sauce is used. We call this dish as lebanira itame and very popular in Chinese restaurants. It's a kind of gross to touch. But I can do it for my family. I do eat more chicken liver than pork liver. And I will show you how to cook as well later in the video. Number three, beef. Actually, any kind of meat contains zinc more or less, but the red meat of the beef contains the most. We eat beef two to three times a week cooked with. Maitake mushroom or stew or even soups. You don't have to make any effort to eat beef because it is so common. It's a good source of zinc for everybody. Number four, eggs. Actually, egg yolk contains zinc. You know how much I love eggs. I have so many recipes of egg you can refer to. Eggs are so versatile, you cannot be get bored. I think I would not be a deficiency of the zinc for the love of egg. Number five, cheese. Cheese is another easy to take zinc rich food. Because of the fat, you don't want to take every day. Be careful of the portion you take. Number six, Niboshi dried sardine. Niboshi is used for making dashi, as I explained in the dashi video. If you don't eat whole fish, you can still take zinc in the dashi. Number seven, beans. Any kind of beans contains certain amount of zinc. We eat nut regularly without knowing it contains zinc. But keep in mind, plant based zinc is not going to be getting that much as it listed in the description. 
Number eight, seaweed. Another plant-based zinc-rich food we eat on a daily basis. It's a small portion, but the daily intake makes our body keep away from the zinc deficiency. Number nine, avocado. Maybe it's not Japanese food, but we love avocado, as you can see in the California rolls. I eat two avocados a week at least as salada or served with hamburger steak. Number 10. Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are indispensable ingredients in Japanese diet. We love to sprinkle over literally any food. Or miso soup or natto to add nutty flavor and the crunch. Keep in mind that uh, Plant-based zinc is going to be absorbed in your body 50 to 60 percent. Now let's get start cooking. First, we are making Lebanira Itame, stir-fried pork river. Rinse sliced pork river in cold water, changing water several times. Soak in milk to remove unwanted smell while preparing the other ingredients. Cut the end of the garlic shoot, then cut into 5 cm lengths. Originally, Lebanira Itame is made with garlic chives, but today I found uh, garlic chives at the supermarket. It is only available in the short period of time, so I choose garlic shoot. Beat the egg and add a pinch of salt. Set aside. Now let's go back to the pork river. Rinse under the running cold water until the water runs clear. Drain and pat dry. Season with a pinch of salt and pepper. Dust with all-purpose flour. Ingredients are all set. Let's start cooking. Heat the frying pan on medium heat, adding the oil. Pour in the egg and stir quickly to make soft scrambled egg. Take out. Clean the frying pan and add in the oil. While still warm, add in the sliced garlic. Cook until fragrant on medium heat. Add in prepared pork river and cook a few minutes on both sides. Add in garlic shoot and stir to cook a couple of minutes. Add in seasonings and toast until evenly seasoned. Back in the egg and stir to combine. There you have your Lebanira Itame. It goes so well with hot steamed rice. Next, simmered chicken liver. This is an old style liver dish. You can find it in a izakaya style restaurant. Peel and shred ginger. Keep the peel to pre-boil the river. Cut chicken river into bite size, removing the excess fat. Rinse under cold running water, gently rubbing the river. The blood is stuck in, in the inside of the vein, gently push to remove it. Soak in cold water for 5 to 10 minutes to remove unwanted smell. Preparing is the most crucial part in the recipe. If your rinsing is not enough, the river tastes not good. Pre-boil the river with the ginger skin in the water to remove the unwanted smell. 
cook until the river turns whitish, then drain. Rinse the river and the pot and put the river back into the pot. Add in one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of soy sauce and mirin. Add in three quarter cup of water and cook on medium low for 10 minutes. You can serve as it is, but I wanted to add some vegetables. Peel and cut daikon radish into bite size and then pre boil it with rice rinsing water. Rice rinsing water makes your daikon soft and sweet. Cook 10 minutes until the daikon looks translucent. Drain and rinse the daikon and add to the pot. To add more natural sweetness, add in roughly chopped onion. Cook 10 more minutes and it's done. Let it cool to room temperature before you eat if you have time. While cooling, the taste soaked into the ingredients and makes it so delicious. Liver is not a food for everyone due to the unique texture and strong smell. But if you cook well, it's going to be a nice and nutritious dish. Last but not least, oyster and shiitake stir fry. Shiitake has been sun dry for one hour and it loaded with vitamin D. I am going to cook with canned smoked oyster to make the most powerful side dish to keep your immune system high. What I like the most about stir fry is so quick and easy and yet delicious. You can serve with sake if you wanted to, but for me, green tea is the best drink to enjoy the dish. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious Japanese recipes. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!